Hey family, welcome or welcome back. Happy Sunday. Tisha here, back for another Say It With Me Now. Say more. I'm ready there. <laughs> that way it sounds complete. Go ahead, do me a favor and hit the like button as we get into this really quick conversation. Janelle and Christine have been on several interviews recently to plug season 19 of Sister Wives. And during an interview with E! News, we find out that despite everything that has happened, despite the division of his family, the loss of his wives, despite not communicating with his kids, despite unfortunately losing his son, despite all of this loss, the bald eagle is still a selfish, deadbeat, delusional, deliberately ignorant fool. I was trying to be nice. I was I was trying to be understanding, but I don't know at this point what it's going to take for him to get it other than that word that he's afraid of, <gasps> poverty. But poverty shouldn't mean more to you than your family. But in his mind, I really, really feel like it is. Janelle and Christine recently opened up about the current state of the relationship with the kids and their dad. I don't even feel like he deserves to be called their dad, but that's what they calling him. So I'm going to call him that too. In an interview, she spoke about the rift, well, the both of them did, between Cody and their kids, specifically Cody and their daughter, Savannah Brown. Janelle and Christine were talking with E! News about their children having daddy issues. We're four years into this thing. Six months into Garrison's passing. Why isn't the bald eagle working on these issues? Why? What exactly is wrong with him? Christine said that it is really, really hard for her kids to have trouble with her father like she sees it and it's really really hard for her to see to the point where for her it's devastating to watch she says that she tries to convince her kids and tell them that you know you just got to accept him where he is and love him where he's at I personally don't agree with that I feel like they've loved him where he is at for all of their lives and that it's not their job to continue to seek him out when he hasn't done the same for him for them I feel like it's really wrong of us as parents to always try to make our kids reach out to the parents when we're the parents. He's the parent. And honestly, he's the one that did wrong. I will never understand deadbeats. They come in all forms. So I'm not just going to say dads. I'm going to say deadbeat parents because Cody is a deadbeat. Christine continues and says that she's saddened by how all of her children have fallen out with Cody. I don't know how to take that all. I don't know if she's saying all like a, 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 a big amount or if she's saying all like all of them, but she lets it be known that they're still in a bad place. I don't understand how you can fix something with someone who feels that they've done no wrong. Christine goes on to say that Savannah explained the relationship with her father best and Janelle was sitting her there, there beside her, nodding her head, confirming what she said. She said that Savannah said that she has a Disneyland dad, that he shows up, we have a really good time, and then that's it. I don't know what it was about it, but something about it, like, kind of made me get a little teary eyed because there are so many kids out there that experience this and to hear this young lady who we were taught had the best dad for all these years he was so hands-on and all that stuff who was saying to her moms like he's a Disneyland dad that's it it just shows you how bad this situation is, but it gets worse. 
She says, at this point, she knows who she is. Janelle said, who he is. Janelle says, Savannah looks at him as a known quantity. What? A known quantity. She can accept him when they go out. They haven't done it recently, Janelle says, but when they did, they would talk about things that they had in common, which most of the time was things like their taste in music. And that was that, meaning, meaning that their relationship was super surface level. There was no depth there. Janelle then lets us know that at this point, her sons have been more influential for Savannah. They've had a greater impact in Savannah's life than her actual father to the point where Savannah has said that she wants her brothers to walk her down the aisle. Say what? <laughs> she wants her brothers to walk her down the aisle. I'm laughing because Cody is going to lose it when he hears this clip. But it's the reality of the situation. And I know that Janelle is thankful that she has her boys because they've shown what that male love is like where her own father has. And they get, don't get me wrong. They can't replace it. The love that my brother has for me is not the same as the love that my father has for me. I know that for a fact. But it says something to me that she doesn't want her dad to walk her down the aisle. She wants it to be her brother's. This situation is bad. Janelle lets us know that at this point, the relationship with the kids is messed up. And it's not just a struggle with Maddie, but it's a struggle with other ones as well. At this point, currently in 2024, in October 2024, this is what she's saying. This is a recent interview. She says her oldest daughter still has no contact with Cody. That he still made no effort to see them. Maddie is very protective of her children and she does not want Cody in and out of their lives. This is nothing new. This means that it was said two years ago and now it's being said again today, which means they're still in the same position they were with what we're seeing now in season 19 and we're two years behind right now in that. She doesn't want Cody around talking crap she wants him to show up as a father first, be consistent, and then maybe at one point or some point, it could be more. And I don't blame Maddie for that. It's sad though, because it's such an important relationship. A new side to my father came out when he had grandkids. Like it, 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 when my son came on the scene, it switched up the game for all of us. <laughs> I mean, my son, my father was always this, this military man that was really, really strict, really, really this. There's a lot of things that it, it just wasn't going to happen. And my son came along and there was a softer side that I never thought I would see to my father because of my son. Kids are a blessing. They're a joy. They're a gift. And here you are with the opportunity to be a grandparent to these amazing kids and your pride and your ego won't allow you to be one. The ladies think that the rift between Cody and the kids is devastating and that the rift between the feathered kids and the OG 13 is bad as well. Uh, it was mentioned that they were at a group activity and Maddie made a point to go say hello to Aurora and give her a hug. I'm going to be honest. At this point, with the ages that they are, those kids, and some of you all have said it, the feathered people's kids, they can create a dynamic outside of their parents. I think that the bald eagle 
and his bird have created a situation where those children are scared to have that type of interaction with their siblings because their father, the bald eagle, may see it as them not being loyal to him. And I feel like they feel like they could get kicked out because there's something there that these children who we were told supposedly wanted to have interactions with the OG 13 and they all have their phones and things of that nature haven't done so. What's the real deal with that? Because if Gabe can walk up to Aurora and give her a hug, then Aurora should be able to pick up the phone and text her brother. I'm just saying. Christine went on to say that the children are some of the best people that she knows and that she wishes that Cody would fix things with them. Watch it. I'm going to leave a link down below. I think that one of the key things here that caught me is that at this point that they're still not in correspondence with their dad. That even though they had a death in the family and sometimes death unites you, sometimes it divides you. But with it being their brother, with that being his son, I would have thought that by now Cody would have at least made a step. I also noticed in watching the interview that Christine and Janelle continue to show far more grace and restraint than I ever think that I could. Because I personally would have been rolling the bus over one of his feathers. <laughs> he would have, he, everything would have been out there. But they're still in many ways protecting him. I think that at this point, wrap Cody up, wrap up his storyline. I want this to be his last season. I want this to be it. I want him to be in a position where we see him the way that we see some of the other kids, which is sporadic. I don't feel like him or his bird should be a major part of this show. I feel like it needs to go to the kids, pay them some money and allow them to reveal whatever it is that they want to reveal even if it's nothing about their parents and everything about where they are at now in their lives, for those that want to. I really want him to be kicked off the show. It's time. The OG 13 and those kids hang out all the time. So let's focus on that. Let's focus on what you all tried to make us feel in the beginning, which was that you were a United family. And let's watch Christine and Janelle and their kids unite. But you all, let me know what you think about this one. If YouTube does not play with me, I'll be back later on this evening. If they do, I'll see you whenever it uploads tomorrow. <laughs>